Hi, this is the prep for pesto. Uh, about, hmm, I forget. I did all the prep because I, it's hard to film and also my kitchen looks like shit. Um, so I'd say about, what is an ounce and 1.7 ounces? So I'd say about uh, 50 grams of fresh organic basil, 50 grams of Parmesan. Recipe calls for one clove of garlic. I chose two because I can't help myself. About 32 grams of pine nuts. About six or seven grams of salt. A little bit of lime zest. Uh, that's not traditional, but I saw this in a few videos and I thought I'd give it a try. I might also use some of the juice. And approximately um, 100 milliliters or so of good quality olive oil. Not extra virgin, uh, preferably. Yes, this food processor is ancient and looks like shit, but it still works great. Um, those stains don't come off. I've tried with bleach. Uh, I think this was grandma's food processor, rest in power. So, like, I think they're, like, just... Either those stains are just, like, seeped into the plastic, um, or that's what the original color was. I don't know. Also, this this video is not sponsored by anyone, but if you if any major corporations do want to sponsor it, why? Okay, let's get started. This recipe is almost entirely adapted from... Mr. Andrew Ray, aka Basics with Babish, Binging with Babish, and other things. So first you add your garlic and these nuts. Yeah. And then you also add the salt. Which, you know, I didn't film properly. This is this is why I need a GoPro strap to my face. Next up, you pulse the ingredients since the until the consistency of sand. It's whisper quiet. Almost there. Yeah. As you can see, we're not quite there yet, um, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to use Piggy to scrape down the sides of the bowl and just keep pulsing on and off. You don't need to watch me scrape. Yeah, sorry about the um, hairy arm in that last shot. Anyway, uh, this is really the best my food processor can do. I've been actually scraping and pulsing for a little while now, and with these older models, the blades are a bit too high. So it's fine, it'll be a bit of a chunky pesto, still probably tasty, but yeah, you're gonna, if you try this at home, you're gonna wanna do this um, until it's the consistency of sand. It gets everywhere. So next up, what you wanna do is you wanna add your cheese very carefully. This is the good expensive stuff, so I don't wanna drop it everywhere. Get up, get everything, there you go, beautiful. And your herbs, bat your basil. It's unplugged right now. And even then, it won't go without the thing, but be careful in using a fruit processor. All right. Yeah, definitely going to have to spread that out a bit. Just wanted to just get it in there. And uh, this would probably be a good time to add uh, your lemon zest. Again, not a lot. Like, not even really... Ah, oh, crap. Well, I'm going to scrape that in. But yeah, just to add a little extra brightness without much acidity. Though I may, like I said, add some of the juice later. So next up, what you want to do is you want to add your cheese... Very carefully. This is the good expensive stuff, so I don't want to drop it everywhere. Get up and everything. There you go. Beautiful. And your herbs. Bat your basil. It's unplugged right now. And even then, it won't go without the thing, but be careful in using a food processor. All right. Yeah. Definitely going to have to spread that out a bit. Just wanted to just get it in there. And uh, this would probably be a good time to add uh, your lemon zest. Again, not a lot. Like, not even really... Ah, oh, crap. Well, I'm going to scrape that in. But yeah, just to add a little extra brightness without much acidity. Though I may, like I said, add some of the juice later. Once again, thanks to Piggy, we got uh, pretty much all the lemon zest in there. Now it's time to pulse until everything's chopped up. And by pulse, this time I meant process. So how's your weekend looking? All right, I let it go for a bit, scraped it down, and then went again, and now it's looking great. So now is the olive oil. So now uh, I've removed the little topper thing from the food processor. Clearly I know what I'm doing since I'm using uh, scientific terms like topper thing. And now I'm going to slowly run, I'm going to run it and slowly stream the oil. I may not need all of it, uh, but the recipe calls for about two and a half to three and a half ounces. So I'm just going to pour slowly and keep an eye on it uh, while I do. Yeah. 
This is hard. I'll keep doing this off camera. Hell yeah. So I let it run a few times, poured in the oil very slowly, scraped down. And this is kind of what you're looking for. Like, listen, I'm no expert, so it's going to be always a little oily for me because I like a lot of olive oil. But as you can see, it's mostly emulsified. Beautiful color. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to maybe add, I'm going to taste it and see if it needs maybe a little something extra. I'll be right back. So it actually tastes great. Um, very basil-y, garlicky, and parmesan-y and salty. Like, everything's fantastic. Um, to brighten it up a bit, I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice. I'm not going to film myself while doing that because I need to use both hands because I'm going to squeeze over my um, hand to catch any seeds. But yeah, I'm going to do that and then just pulse one more time to incorporate that. The juice of half a lemon was a great idea. It still doesn't take so lemony. It doesn't taste lemony, but it definitely like brightens the flavor a bit. Um, I know that sounds like culinary bullshit, but if you try this yourself, you'll be like, oh, damn, you're right. So the zest and juice of about a little bit of half a lemon. So here it is. Um, thing, this can last a few days. If I had blanched the uh, basil, it, might, it could last up to a week. I didn't toast the pine nuts either because I felt lazy. Uh, that being said, I also just licked the food processor and uh, like cup and blades like, in, like I had not eaten in a week because it's really freaking delicious. Um, and yeah. Oh, one last thing, since I didn't use all the oil, there's still, I'd say maybe like 10 milliliters left. Um, one of the tips they give is, I know it already looks pretty oily, it doesn't taste oily, but pour a little bit of the extra oil on top if you're gonna refrigerate it. And then, you know, I don't know if it's gonna really do much of a difference in preserving. Wow, okay, focus. But you know, it, can, it doesn't hurt and it looks nice, so yeah. Um, yeah, this is, but anyway, we're, this is not lasting longer than two or three days. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to refrigerate it now, and I'm definitely going to make something with it a little later. Bye. Okay, so maybe not traditional, but I, um, tossed the pesto with some, uh, homemade frozen gnocchi I got from, um, a local, um, gnocchi maker with, um, an oven-baked pork chop. My ratio is a bit off of pesto to everything, uh, but you, but, uh, luckily I'm... Somebody who unabashedly cleans plates. God, look at that color. It's great. Anyway, I'm going to eat this now. Bye. Again, bye.